What is up guys, it is Mercules here and this is going to be my first officially well organized Destiny commentary. What I want to do is I want to go over the screenshots again in an organized fashion, just state a caption for each one of them, and then after that I'm going to uh, go over pretty much everything I know about Destiny so far and I'm going to close with just a few thoughts of my own. Alright, so, uh, and remember if you haven't, go ahead and check out the Vidoc and check out my breakdown of it. So we're going to start off, this is obviously a screenshot everyone's seen. Moving on, this is a screenshot that is simply called the Black Garden, and the uh, the caption for it that I saw was not much is known about the Black Garden, but to me it looks pretty awesome. Every screenshot I've seen for this game, or every concept art I've seen for this game so far looks awesome. This one, from left to right, the characters are the Titan, the Hunter, and the Warlock, alright? So the Titan is the big one in front of the gun, the Hunter is the one in the middle with what looks like stealth and a sniper rifle, and the Warlock's the one over there waving his arms and doing some magic. Moving on, this is what's called the Mars Exclusion Zone. Specifically, it says the Mars Exclusion Zone is controlled by the Cabal, or the Cable. I'm really not sure how that's pronounced, but C-A-B-A-L. So Cable, Cabal, one of the two. This is the surface of the moon. It appears fractured like it's been destroyed. It says Earth's moon is broken. And obviously you can see the giant mountain rising up out of like the uh, little base right there. So something traumatic has happened in the moon, that much we know. This is a picture of the Hunter class. You see the sniper rifle, to me it looks a little bit like a Halo Reach sniper rifle, but still looks pretty darn badass. Uh, just kind of being all stealthy in the woods and letting all these enemies in the background walk past. And to me, those enemies look super badass. This is the Vex. Uh, it is a time-traveling robot. That's really all I know about it. They showed this exact screenshot with a little bit of animation in the video breakdown. And to me, it looks really sick. So, just my opinion on it. This, from left to right, it starts off with the Hunter class, that's the girl. The middle class is the Warlock, the far right class is the Titan. So Hunter is stealth and sniping, Warlock is magic, Titan is big guns, is how I've heard it described. Um, this is another concept art of the moon, it is called Hell's Mouth. And uh, I'm not sure really particularly what it is, might be a base on the moon. I don't know, it might be the cause of that tectonic action that we saw in the uh, earlier moon screenshot. The only caption for this is that an enemy lives here, or enemies live here. So I assume it's some type of alien base. Uh, if you look very closely at it, it's just stacked all the way to the sky. There's like rings around it like Saturn. It just looks like debris. I don't know, it looks pretty cool to me, but it is pretty cryptic. This screenshot everybody knows about, but uh, we were told that that tank in the background is called a spider tank. Not sure what the floating ball is in front of it. Also not sure... I think those are enemies, but I'm not sure they might be guardians as well. This is just a screenshot of an abandoned spaceship floating destroyed, looks like by Saturn's rings. Obviously, I'm not an astronomer, but based on the color, I believe those are Saturn's rings. And now this next concept shot is of something called the Pike. It is going to be a user-controlled vehicle, kind of similar to the Ghost in Halo, it appears, uh, with the same sliding motion along the ground, except for, in this case, much more dirty and significantly less purple. So that is it for the concept art that has been released today. I'm just going to continue to let the shots play in the background, and now I'm going to go over pretty much everything that I know about uh, Destiny that I've learned so far today. I'm going to state things that are answered on IGN's FAQ, and I'm also going to talk about some stuff I learned from the video documentary, and then I'm going to provide a little bit of my own opinion on uh, this subject. So first things first, the giant ball that is hanging over the Earth, that thing is called the Traveler. Uh, I am not sure whether it itself is the traveler or traveler or whether it is the ship of the traveler whether it is alive uh, they said in the video documentary that some speculate that it died giving its life to save humanity so not sure if it's dead but it's parked over earth and the last remaining human city filled with all the vestiges of humanity in the universe is underneath it surrounded by a giant wall and guarded by the guardians and the guardians uh, are going to be the playable characters in the Destiny series, and they supposedly can channel the powers of the Traveler, so I suppose uh, at least one of them I know can do magic, which is the Warlock, and I suppose the other ones will probably be able to use its technology or something, I'm not exactly sure, but we'll move on. Uh, the basics of the game right now, obviously developed by Bungie, published by Activision, the genre is stated as first-person shared world shooter. 
So obviously it's going to be played from the first person perspective, but the shared world shooter part is a little bit harder to grasp because it's not actually a real thing because it's never been done before. What I assume it's going to be like is you, it will be like a massively multiplayer online game from the first person, but you won't be thrown in with everyone who's playing the game online at one time. That's the way I believe it's going to be done. So picture World of Warcraft or RuneScape in the first person with a hundred times better graphics and way cooler, and you're not playing with everyone who's online, you're just playing with whoever you want to play with. So you can play in a party, you can play by yourself, you can play with a few friends, you can play with a lot of friends. Um, the term raids was used in an interview uh, at Bungie, so I'm assuming that it's going to be something like that where you can you know, gang up in a big group and go do whatever you want to do in this world. Um, but like I said, they... I don't think it's going to be a whole bunch of people all at one time that you don't want to play with, like just everyone who's playing, because Bungie specifically said that you're not going, it's called voluntary multiplayer, and you're not going to be having to deal with griefers who just like run up and kill your character, because you don't have to play with anyone you don't want to play with, so that's pretty much the way I would describe it. Uh, it does require an internet connection. There is no subscription fee though, so that is excellent. It is confirmed coming out for the 360, the PS3, and future generation technology, which of course means the 720 and the PS4. There's not going to be a PC version. Um, Bungie actually didn't say whether you have to have Xbox Live Gold to play it, but I'm assuming that on the Xbox 360 you do. What this means to me though is that the, when the 720 comes out, I believe there will be some significant tweaks to the way uh, Xbox Live is done. And I think that's why they're not specifically saying whether you have to have Xbox Live or not. PS3 and Xbox players cannot play on the same servers, that is to be expected. Bungie didn't say whether PS3 and PS4 players can or whether 360 and 720 players can. Again, I believe that there are going to be some tweaks to the Xbox Live system when the 720 comes out. No release date has been set. We can assume for right now it will be fall of 2013 as it is an Xbox 360 title and the next-gen consoles are coming out very soon, but we really don't know so far. So, um, are there character classes? Yes. Right now, there are at least three. Titan, which is the big guns, Hunter, which is the sniper rifles and stealth, and Warlock, which is the magic. Uh, we showed those in the concept art earlier. Um, there will be character customization, that much we know. Tons of it. Gears, weapons, I believe spaceships. Uh, you know, pretty much the, the whole shebang, I guess you could call it. There are at least four known enemies right now. There's a four-armed insect creature, or there's four-armed insect creatures called the Fallen, which I believe if you see the clay model I posted a while ago, uh, not a while ago, yes, two days ago, that some guy put a picture up on Twitter. It was on my last Destiny commentary. Um, that is, I believe, what the Fallen is, and I'm pretty sure it's also in the screen or the concept art with the walking tank thing i think those also might be the fallen then there's something called space zombies which are not elaborate any further there's time traveling robots known as a vex which we saw in the concept art and there's the rhino like cable or the cabal which is the people who own the mars exclusion zone again don't know if there's concept art of those yet uh there are going to be tons of vehicles there's uh, the pike already, the thing that's similar to the Halo Ghost, and there's the spider tank, the thing in the concept art, with maybe the fallen, the four-legged tank walking thing. Um, as far as places you can go, apparently it's every planet in our solar system. Earth, the moon, Mars, Saturn, every planet in our solar system. Uh, some names of locations have been dropped already, such as the Cosmodrone, or Cosmodrone is probably what I feel like it is, Breach. The ruins on the edge of the European dead zone, the swamps of old Chicago, the tower, the reef, giant obsidian pyramid ships, and the hellmouth on the moon, which we saw in the concept art as well. So basically, everything sounds extremely badass. Uh, you will be able to get spaceships, and I'm pretty sure you can use these spaceships to fly to other planets. I'm not sure if they're going to do like jump scenes or like there's going to be like warp drive so you get to another planet instantly. Not sure how the travel aspect is going to work, but you do get spaceships, and I'm pretty sure you get to customize your own spaceships. Not sure if you get to fight in space. I really, really hope that you do. Um, as for competitive multiplayer, there's definitely multiplayer in there. 
as far as what type it is, I'm not exactly sure. I know that you can play in a party with other people, and because of that, you could probably fight other people when you're playing with them. But what I would really, really love to see is something like um, an arena system where like you can choose to play in the open world, but then if you want to play in competitive multiplayer online, you select from a different menu and you go into an arena and you can take your customized character into the arena with all the gear you have and all the weapons you have and all the stuff you have and you can fight like a 4v4 game of Team Deathmatch or you can play a game of Capture the Flag or you can play a free-for-all game. Um, something like that would be really cool for me where you leave the open world or you don't necessarily leave the open world but you go to a specific part of the open world where it's just competitive player versus player and multiplayer. I would really love to see that and also I would really love to see where you can take your spaceship into space and you could do like space battles too like the same thing is down there but with spaceships and you would like gain points or something for destroying other spaceships. I don't know. That's just my idea. I really, really hope that they do that. Um, so, eh. Maybe they will. I don't know. Another cool thing is the uh, iPhone companion app that's going to come with it because I really believe what that is going to do is it's going to make it possible for this world to be continually evolving. You see, the thing that is an issue with a completely open world game is that while you're not playing, the game continues to go on and evolve. And some stuff they said in the Vidoc leads me to believe that that's the type of game this is going to be. And the problem with that is if you don't play for a month because you're out of town, when you come back, the world is a month ahead of you and you're stuck in your month-old, you know, character. Well, now with this iPhone companion app, I believe you're going to be able to not do as much as you would, obviously, if you were playing, but you'll be able to keep more up-to-date. You won't be just completely out of it like you have been in other games, uh, you know, when you don't get a chance to play them. So that's what I think uh, is going to happen with the iPhone companion app. Again, not sure. That's pretty much everything we know for sure about Destiny so far. I want to talk very quickly about what I think Destiny is going to do. Honestly, what I really like about this is that they are completely blazing their own trail. There is nothing to compare Destiny to besides Halo because they made it, but that's not even really a fair comparison. There's nothing to compare Destiny to because there's nothing like Destiny. It's coming up with its own genre. It's not just a first-person shooter. It's not just an MMO. It's combining the two, and I really believe it is innovating. It is making everything for itself. Every game is going to be trying to play catch-up to Destiny in the future is what I believe is going to happen. So, obviously, I'm extremely excited about this game. I have the highest hopes for it. I haven't been stoked about uh, a game like this in such a long time. Really can't wait for its release, and I believe it's going to revolutionize the way that we play video games and the way we think about video games. Um, that's it for this commentary, guys. I am going to do another commentary discussing... It's going to be... Uh, I don't know. I might release it later today, but I'll probably let this one ride for a little bit. But I am going to do a Halo 4 or a Halo Reach commentary, at least in a couple of days. So look forward to that. And remember to like, favorite, and subscribe for more.